to travel now though. Thousands of Kiwis holiday at Hawaii's famous Waikiki Beach every year. But House of Travel cruise and travel expert Anne Mallor wants us to broaden our horizons. Good morning and aloha. Aloha Mel. So where do you think we should be setting our sights then? Definitely the Outer Islands. There's just so much to see and it's really easy to get there with Hawaiian Airlines. Right, so you just want to encourage your clients to sort of venture further afield. Absolutely. Fabulous food, fabulous people, gorgeous things to see. Now I know you went on an island hopping adventure not long ago and Debbie interviewed you and she started by asking which of the islands was your favourite. Let's take a look. I think my favourite is Kauai. No, no, I'm going to say, I don't know, it's a hard one because they're all so different, aren't they? I'm going to say Maui because I love the beach and the old historic town of Lahaina and having a resort right on the beach at Kanapali is just so easy because everything's there. I love the fact that you can go into a surf village and it's really kind of hippie, boho, you've got the windsurfers and Paya. And then from there, further up the mountain where it becomes a different ambience altogether, sort of misty slightly, and an old cowboy town of Mokawai. And the cream puffs at the general store are something else. Oh my gosh, the vodka tasting was unbelievable on Maui at um, Ocean Vodka. I mean, I've never tasted vodka or, you know, been a taster of vodka, but the, those shots and the way he taught us to taste the difference on our tongue and how smooth it was and the way they process it with that special water, I thought it was fabulous. That whole experience on Hawaii is so different. It's just built of massive volcanoes, so everything is lava flow and been built on top of it, and it's quite a weird you know, it's not what you think of as Hawaii, but what it does, it provides such dramatic shorelines with those black rocks. We went to the black sand beach and stood like, you know, I don't know, three meters, not even that, from two of the most beautiful huge turtles bathing on the sand. It was just incredible. The volcano on Hawaii blew my mind. It was sort of like an eruption <laughs> because you come from beach and sun and what you imagine, Hawaii palm trees, and there it's this extraordinary volcano. And getting up to get to the volcano at five to see it beautiful glowing and the steam coming off and to wait for the sun to set above it was an incredible experience but I loved staying up there staying in that lodge with the big fireplace that was a real experience for me I absolutely adored it I felt quite overwhelmed by the kahuna because his depth of love for the earth just shone through. He was determined that we should learn to have a sustainable lifestyle and that there's so much we can learn from the Hawaiian culture. Yet being a young man like he was, he was so insistent that it should be part of the modern world as well. So he wasn't separating it. And I think the fact he was 13 generations down from the first King Kamehameha really struck me. He, it was a beautiful experience. I love the Koakea Resort. I thought it was small, intimate, boutique, beautiful restaurant. But my real experience there was the massage. And the Lomi Lomi massage, again, handed down from generations. And it's all about balancing, getting a spiritual, emotional, and physical balance, clearing out all the, you know, muck. And I think from traveling, it was the best experience because I felt realigned again and refreshed. It was beautiful. It was my first flight that wasn't in a plane. <laughs> and I felt really, uh, it was amazing. Just not only the view, but the oh experience gosh, of being part of like it. You know, going along those long lines of coffee and looking out to sea, but to see it from above was extraordinary. And to wear those, those amazing goggles, yeah, incredible. I was thinking canyon, oh, you know, whatever. Everybody goes on about the canyons. <laughs> but. Yeah, we drove up in the convertible, which was fantastic. Hood down, singing, music blaring, stopped the car, walked up a kind of rough little path, looked over the edge and went, wow. There is no word I can think of other than that to explain it. It was truly gorgeous. I love Chinatown. I've been to Honolulu so many times before, but never made it to Chinatown. And it's huge. I don't know, it might be eight blocks, but so much going on. 
to be able to go into an acupuncture place with the old man there with his white coat and his abacus taking us into the back room where he's doing cupping. You know, I thought that was amazing. That and the smells, the market, the fresh food markets. I mean, you felt like you were in the middle of China. Sunset cocktails, I mean in Hawaii, wherever you are, a sunset cocktail is an absolute must, either at Waikiki Beach um, or in Kauai or in Hawaii, wherever you are, to watch the sunset go down these gorgeous islands is really an amazing experience. Hawaii is stunning and it's more than beach, sunset and palm trees that, you know, to get on a plane, it's so easy between the islands and they're so diverse. You can hire a car, you see amazing mountains, beautiful beaches, turtles, wildlife, artisan products, coffee, macadamia and more. And just get out there and explore it because it is fabulous. Wow, I just really, <laughs> really want to go to Hawaii. It looks so I fabulous. I know, we were so lucky. You crammed so much into your eight-day trip. Now, if our viewers yeah. are thinking about a trip to Hawaii, does House of Travel have any great deals or packages at the moment? Of course, House of Travel has always got hot deals, but there's one that particularly took my eye, and it's 10 nights, 4699 per person twin share. It's called Hawaii Radiance, because you actually fly to Vancouver a couple of nights, get on a cruise ship, of course, Mel, and cruise to Hawaii all around the islands and then two nights in Waikiki fly home with Hawaiian Airlines. Oh, it is perfect. That sounds, 6 September. That sounds amazing. So good. A great travel advice as always. Thank you so much for joining us today, Anne.